What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be testing some broadheads. I got some kudu, the contour 125 grains, and then some tooth of the arrow 125 grains. Um, shout out to Crystal Creek Meats. They uh, gave me some. Uh, I got some beef shoulder blades here. I got four of them. So we're gonna be shooting into some shoulder blades today and i just kind of wanted to show you guys the uh results that i find so here's the tooth of the arrows one thing i've noticed here i bought these probably two three months ago i don't know if you can see it but they're already starting to rust up and they've just been in my shop so i will sharpen these up and then I have the kudus here. I've never had a kudu rust up on me. These are the original models from four or five years ago. I think that one's killed an elk and they're still good. So one thing to note, I am not paid by either one of these companies. This is just for my own ADD problems and yeah. Hope you enjoy. Also, forgot to mention what I'm shooting here. I got 200 grains up front on my Easton axis here. And it's a 260 spine. And I'm shooting the new Hoyt Red Works 80 pound bow. So she's cranked up, I think 82 pounds, but we'll see what we do. Okay, so. I'm all set up at 20 yards here. Just gonna be the first little test. Got her on the target there. I'm gonna be shooting through the uh, kind of the flat part of the shoulder blade there. Just kind of the first round. So here we go. Okay, Kudu is up first here. Let's see how we did here. Well, definitely penetrated. Let's see how the head looks here. A little beat up but man it looks good going through a shoulder blade that thick I'm impressed look at the hole here I mean this is a, a beef shoulder blade so it's not not small <laughs> bigger than the elk for us for sure so, let's see how the other ones do okay Tooth of the arrow, four blade, 125, up next. Let's go see how we did here. Okay, looks pretty good actually. 
take her out here. Blades still look good. I'd say about the same penetration. I did shoot it a little bit skinnier spot on the shoulder blade, so I'll do another one here. I'm actually pretty impressed with both of them. That one's super thin. Kudu. You see at least an inch of bone there. This one's probably a quarter inch of bone, so I'll do another one here. <laughs> that one didn't sound good and it doesn't look good. So Ooh. Blew my knock off here. Didn't even penetrate. That was maybe an inch above where the kudu went. And it broke the blade. And then the arrow. <laughs> that is one thing I was a little worried about with these heads. So I'm gonna go back to 60 and see how they do. Okay, so backed up to 60. Fresh kudu head. Let's see how they do. Alright, that was the kudu. It's actually into the thick part. We're out here. Damn, pretty good penetration here. Still sharp. Still looks good. I would shoot that again in a heartbeat. Absolutely still perfect. 60 yards. Move the hole. See what the uh, tooth of the arrow does here. Okay, tooth of the arrow, four blades, 60 yards. Well, that looks pretty good actually. Let's pull it out and see what it looks like here. Pretty good penetration. Oh wow. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. Broke another blade. Put 
nice hole in it, but I don't know. That is not good. Okay, so here's the aftermath here. These two were shot at 20 yards. And these two were shot at 60. I hope that might have helped you guys kind of decide if you were on either one of these. This one's pretty messed up. It did penetrate the bone, but man, I, I mean, I could run my fingers. It's dull. I wouldn't want that going inside and. I don't think it'd do much, but that's why I shoot kudos right there.